Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitaCoaching.com. We are talking about dating success for women. The topic for this video is enjoy your romantic fantasies. We enter now into the world of imagination, really. <laughs> and imagination is a powerful love tool. I mean, I get these dozens of questions about women asking, you know, do you think he likes me? Do you think there is a chance of us being together? Do you have the feeling that eventually if I do this, he's going to be attracted to me? And all that is really aimed at manifesting something physically. Now, when you enter into the world of your dreams or into the world of imagination or emotions, feelings, we enter into a very different reality. It's not physical reality, right? It's not manifested but it, it still has a dimension of, uh, of reality. So rather than really focusing on the physical world, really what is really existing, you can sometimes have a crush or be in love on, uh, on an emotional level without the other person even realizing that. And still you feel all the emotions of love even though there is nothing happening physically. And this in itself is an incredible um, you know, tool that we have as human beings and you as women uh, to, to actually be in love without actually anything happening physically. So what I want to tell you it is that your imagination itself is a powerful tool. The fact that nothing is happening physically doesn't mean that you have to run away from being in love. You can be in love with somebody you never met physically. You can be in love with somebody that you admire or that you see sometimes uh, <laughs> at the office, for instance, and the person is never going to, uh, to actually see you or speak to you, but you know, there is still some form of feelings, uh, some emotions happening, which are, which are very powerful and very joyous and very happy to have. So in itself, discarding all this reality because it doesn't have uh, a physical existence, you know, because it's not manifested physically, would be a pity, really. You can live with a high dimension of um, imagination, of love, the imagination in your life, and still be happy with it. That's one of the big, um, you know, realizations I came uh, through in the last uh, couple of years. I realized that the fact that it doesn't happen physically doesn't mean that it doesn't have value. What we call uh, reality, you know, physical reality is one thing, but the reality of your dreams, of your imagination, of your emotions, is another type of reality, which is as real as the physical one. It's just a different one. Uh, in uh, spiritual terms, we call that the astral world. The astral reality is the world of your dreams, emotions, and uh, imagination. And all that is, to a certain extent, as real as the physical world. We simply use other senses to perceive it, right? We have instincts, intuition, all that is aimed at perceiving something which is not physically manifested, but it is, in a way, as real as the physical world. So my advice is very simple. Enjoy your fantasies. Enjoy your sexual fantasies or your romantic fantasies. When you are in love with somebody without really you know, having any chance of meeting that person physically, it is still uh, a set of uh, beautiful emotions and feelings to have. And the fact that it's not going to happen physically, well, you might say, well, I, I, I get the feeling that it's a bit uh, hurting. Well, what you can do is look at it for what it is, really. It is an imagination. It is a world of dreams. But, you know, the feelings and emotions associated with that are sometimes almost as intense as if you were meeting the person physically. And this in itself, well, there is great beauty. There is great joy and pleasure associated with that. So what you have to do is very clear though, you must not feel like you get attached to it or stuck to it or really uh, alienated by it. And that's an important element. It means that you have to stay on top to a certain extent, but you have to stay on top as, uh, in the same way as you would stay on top when you have uh, you know, a physical connection with the, with the man. Now, all that is, uh, <laughs> I, I must say that it's great news because uh, very often you, you are forced to look at things from a real physical perspective and uh, the advice that I want to give you is there is nothing wrong with enjoying your fantasies, enjoying your dream world, enjoying uh, even sexual fantasies that you might have and diving into it, you know, uh, enjoying it, uh, have some form of mastery over them but uh, don't discard them simply because they, they are not real. Uh, you, you have the right, you have the power and uh, the ability to enjoy the love on that level as well. Okay? Um, that's it for now. You take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.